Yo, what's going on guys and welcome to my SSBL Season 4 Draft Breakdown. Of course, my team is Alon and Lugias. I am Zooch. So, I was going to do like a Season 3 recap, but the way I lost, I pretty much made the biggest choke of my life versus Astoria in the playoffs. I had the game and I didn't click Sorzans and you guys know the rest pretty much. So, <clears throat> I pretty much remember that game, you know, play by play still now. So, uh, but anyways, hopefully we don't have a repeat of that uh, type of situation. Like I said in the last season, Team Breakdown, my goal for the season is to just make playoffs. That is my goal for every single league, no matter who is in the league. That just means that you pretty much beat out half the league at least. So that's my goal. <clears throat> uh, hopefully we can make it further than last time, but if not, it's no big deal. So I'm going to get right into this, guys. So this type of draft is basically a free draft. You got 1,000 points. <clears throat> you have to draft 11 or 10 months, and then the Mega can either give you points, take away points, or just be neutral. We had the 14th pick in this draft, and I really, really wanted... Kiram Black, but I've never seen Kiram pretty much drop at, past the top five, let alone the top ten. So I was pretty much uh, had my hopes crushed when I saw the draft order. But uh, somehow, some way, Kiram Black did actually fall to us, guys. So we did pick up Kiram Black. I did want to try a lot of mods I had never used before. I I only used two mods in this draft, and they're pretty much lower tier mods, so it's no big deal there. Yeah, guys, right, Kieran Black, pretty much one of the best wall breakers in the format. Him and Hoopa, I think, are probably the two best in my opinion. You guys can see that 170 base attack and then 120 special attack. It's got a really, really good bulk as well, 125 HP, so it could definitely sub behind mons like Chansey or Blissey or just a seismic attacker, seismic toss attacker, because uh, it could have more than 400 HP stat. <coughs> good, good defense as well and good speed. Of course, Turvel negates the opposing mons' abilities, so things like Earth, uh, Levitate, Earth Power can hit. Things with Thick Fat don't resist my ice attacks. Things like that. So. Kieran Black is just something I really wanted to try. It does have also things like Sub and Roost I could do. Uh, ICMZ is pretty much the most common set, but you also just be Life Orb. does get Fusion Bolt, Earth Power, Flash Cannon, Iron Head, and then of course the Ice Beam and the Freeze the Shock is pretty much what you see. Could also run Hidden Power. Uh, there's a there's a Rain Team. I don't know if I play the Rain Team, but I've used Hidden Power Grass and like an OU before with this thing, actually, and I just bought the Mega Swampert. So, uh, definitely some cool th stuff you could run with this guy, but for the most part, you will be seeing me run uh, the ICMZ because it is open Z move uh, this season. Last season, it was like points. You had to just use your points for Z captains, but it's open Z except for status. Uh, you can only have one status on, so I could definitely run Kyrum uh, any 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 week I want with a Z move. So next up, oh, and also I was asleep when this pick was made. George made the pick for me, so thank you, George. Uh, I was pretty much telling everyone that the week before that I really wanted Kyrum Black, so he knew that I wanted it, and I appreciate him picking it for me so I don't get skipped and someone else taking it. Uh, but then I kind of do a, uh, a disjustice to George's next pick. So I was I was sleeping when this pick got made, and then it was my next pick, and I pretty much just woke up and I picked up Zero Aura because I was sick. So I just made the pick and got off. And if I would have read some messages, I would have known that a lot of people wanted Zero Aura, especially George, uh, George Gryo, and I think Neff wanted it too. <coughs> and I felt really bad because he was George was picked right next to me. So he picked before me, then he picked right after me the second round. And he was going to take Zero Aura, and he was not happy when I took it. So, apologize for that, man. But Zero Aura is a really good mod. Uh, it's really, really fast, obviously. I think it's the fastest mod that's not a Mega that was drafted, besides a Selcor. I think a Selcor was drafted 145. Uh, and then they got, like, Mega Arrow and Mega Alakazam. But other than that, Zero Aura is pretty much going to be outspeeding everything. can be either physically uh, offensive or special, which is I really, really like. I like the versatility. Same with Kyrim. Kyrim can pretty much run physical moves, uh, physical moves or special moves. Uh, its defenses aren't the worst. 88, 75, and 80 defenses aren't the worst. Volt Absorb is a really, really good ability as well. Uh, of course, Electric Immunity. So I don't have to rely on my potential ground types to change to Electric type attacks because Electric type attackers will definitely have ice coverage to hit the ground type. So I could definitely use their aura as a Electric switch in as well. Just have decent coverage. It's things like Knock Off, Fighting Coverage, Close Combat, um, Fire Punch. I think it gets like Aerial Ace too. It gets a lot of stuff. So. Uh, there's definitely some things that could definitely wall their aura, but it does get set up, bulk up, and work up as well, so that's pretty cool. And then, um, yeah, you could just have your other threats deal with the mons that zero aura can't, and then zero aura can clean late game because it's so fast and will pretty much outspeed most of the uh, <coughs> other team. <clears throat> so third, I, I picked a mon that, um, it was also another snipe, uh, Quincy wanted this mon, but uh, I feel like it's mon that's not really drafted as much. Its stats are pretty crazy when I looked at it, and I wanted to try it for sure, so I picked up my Guard of War. Does have pick slate to boost its fairy type attacks. Of course, you guys can see that 165 special attack. So we have a 170 attacker and a 165 special attacker. So pretty good hard hitters, man. It's going to be tough for my opponents to switch into. 
has on my hits here. 100 speed is also not that bad. 135 speed F as well. I really like my Gardevoir because it gets a lot of coverage as well. Energy Ball, Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, things like that. Um, and Fairy and Psychic is a really good offensive typing. Not a lot of mons can switch into it. The only type that <coughs> switches into it that resists both is Steel. And like I just mentioned, it does get Focus Blast. So if I could predict the Steel type switching in, Focus Blast will more often than not to a KO that Steel type. Um, like I said, decently fast and it does have good uh, good support moves with like Wish and Healing Wish. So that's not bad there. It also set up with Calm Mind. So I really, really like my God of War. I apologize to Quincy. I know he wanted it. He, he already had like the draft slide set up actually with this mom. But I took it. I think it was one pick before him as well actually. So I'm just, I'm just you know, sniping mods left and right guys. I'm a, I don't know. Uh, so next up, I realized I don't have any, any hazard control yet. My first three picks do not have hazards or removal. So I went ahead and scooped up Crook. I think I actually, <laughs> I sniped this mod as well from Astoria. He was pretty pissed about it, but I'm just picking mods that I feel like I want to try that are decent. So I feel like dark types are really, really important for your team. Dark and ground types. A lot of people don't actually draft dark types or draft good dark types, but I feel like it's actually decently important to get a good draft type for those uh, hard hitting psychics. So Crook has two good abilities, Intimidate and Moxie. You could either be Choice Scarf with the Moxie to sweep teams with either Earthquake, Knockoff, Crunch, things like that. Or you could just be defensive with like Intimidate or <coughs> and Rocky Helmet, let's say, for example, with Stealth Rocks. Yeah, the main reason I did pick this is because it's a good dark, good dark type, and it has hazards. Uh, 117 attack 2 is no joke. It definitely breaks some walls. Uh, it does get Fire Fang for coverage against Brass types, which is pretty cool. And it's a Pursuit Trap or dark type, which is why I don't like. I don't like passive dark types like, like Umbreon. It does have Pursuit, but it's not really a Pursuit Trap because its attack isn't so poor where crocodile can actually pursue things uh crocodile and i think Tar are one of the best uh pursuit trappers for sure so i really really liked crocodile and i was glad i got it uh fourth before uh story could take it <coughs> next up we got salazzle salazzle has one of the coolest abilities in corrosion it lets you toxic steel types or poison types <coughs> it's a really really fast one and it's decently hard hitting with the 111 special attack again i'm just picking mods that i have never used before and i've seen them used to great success and they look pretty fun to use so We've got a very speedy team so far. Our, our slowest mod is base 92, which is our crook. Then we have 95, 100, 117, and 143. So it's a very we have a very offensive, speedy team so far. <coughs> and I really really like Salazzle. It's, it's typing is, is pretty cool uh, offensively. Obviously, um, things like <clears throat> uh, like water type, like bulky water types, is hard for Salazzle to break through. But he does get um, nasty plot, and like I said, it is open Z move, guys. So I could definitely slap a poison Z on this thing if I want to break through a water or something. Uh, but typically you just see dual stab and then um, a hidden power maybe a nasty plot substitute possibly it does like I said it can poison anything so you could definitely run the annoying like sub toxic protect set with this guy and then black sledge because he's gonna be pretty much faster than a lot of a lot of mons and he could just poison stuff on the switch and then substitute and just waste turns like that over and over it, it doesn't get like recovery which it would be pretty stupid good if it did but it's still a good mod nonetheless and I think teams have to definitely prepare for it just a bit <coughs> All right, so next pick, we didn't have a ground weakness, and our team was very, very offensive. So I figured I'd, I'd take one of the best ground resist or immunities in the game, which is Skarm. Uh, usually ground types, I'm sorry, usually flying types are weak to edge. So our, you know, EQ and uh, edge quake is a really good combo. But Skarmory is immune to earthquake and doesn't. It's not weak to stone edge because it's steel as well. <coughs> of course, sturdy is pretty much the ability you're going to be see me run. Maybe recarmer as well if I want to get. Uh, if I want to get a little fancy or whatever, but yeah, I really, really like Skarmory. It gives me a lot of hazards that I didn't have before, like I said. I have two rockers, gives me spiker, and it gives me removal. Now, my team is actually not really weak to rocks. I think I only have two mons weak to rocks, which is Kirim and Salazzle on the entire roster. Um, so Defog isn't really isn't really going to be a priority for me, I don't think, unless there's like a sticky web or maybe a toxic spike that's annoying. Uh, but I definitely want to plan on hazard stacking my opponents for a lot of games. So uh, Skarmory definitely helps with that. It's a very, very defensive mod. You guys can see 140's uh, defense. And it could definitely, it could be Spadef too if you want to put like a, a lot of Spadef into something to maybe take on, I don't know, like a, <coughs> like a, like a, I don't know, a water type or something. I don't know. Skarmory is just really good for physical mods, so you don't really need um, EVs in defense, in my opinion. A lot of times I'm pretty, pretty much going to be running a lot of Spadef. Things like, you know, Landorus or whatever can't really touch this, even if I'm no defense. So I don't. If I'm going to be using this as a physically defensive switch, and I don't really, I feel like I'm not going to really need a lot of defense investment. So that's why I like Skarmory because I could put a lot of my EVs into Spadef instead. It's got decently uh, 
decently decent speed too. It's probably gonna be faster than a lot of the more bulky mons. So I could run taunt. I believe this thing gets taunt. Uh, Whirlwind is pretty cool as well. Braybird, Ironhead, Roost, um, Toxic, Defog, and Rocks slash Spikes is pretty much what you see this guy run. So I have five spots left, and I'm all the way down to 300. So I can, on an average, I could draft them on at 60 points five times. Um, so I actually went under the average, and I scooped up Type Null, which for 40 points, I feel like it's really, really good because if you guys look at the stats, it can run EVLA, which obviously raises the defenses. So it's already got base 95's defenses, and EVLA makes it super duper bulky. The only thing that's different from Type Null and Savali is, of course, the speed, and then some moves. It doesn't get like Defog like Savali does, but it's still a really, really good mod. Only one weakness to fighting, because it's normal type. And I, I, I played against this thing twice, or, well, once in SSPL and then another time, and it's very annoying to take down Knock and Light. It does, of course, rely a lot on the EV Light, though, so I have to be careful of Knock Off. But it's, it's just a very, very bulky mod for some special attackers to take down if, um, if you run Spadef. It could also run defensive, too. Um, but it can just roar or it can just sleep talk. It, it's, it can set up a sword dance and return. I've actually seen uh, like a rest sleep talk sword dance and then just mono attacking roar, um, return pretty much run through a team. It wasn't against me, but I saw that set work. So maybe I'll run that set uh, once or twice. But uh, the set that I'm pretty much going to be running a lot, I just get on my hazards and then potentially just like you turn around for momentum or just roar if something is set up that's annoying. Uh, and then just get him out of there. Of course, battle armor is there, so I can't be crit, which is also really, really nice for for taking him out. So I feel like at 40 points, Type Null was a great value, and I picked it pretty early because I didn't want anyone else to take it, and I pretty much knew the other mons I was going to take at this point, and I was pretty confident that uh, no nobody else was going to take the other mons. So I figured I'd take Type Null kind of early, like I think it was around seven, <coughs> so just to make sure I got I got it for the value that it was at. All right. Next up, we got type. Um, sorry, not type. No, we got Verizion with a, of course justified. So Verizion stats are actually pretty, pretty decent. Like I, I thought that they were lower, but when I, when I was doing the slide and I looked at the stats, it's actually pretty good. It's based uh, speed is 108, so it's a very good mon for my speed tiers. I have 117 down to 108, and then down to 100, I believe, is my next fastest. So not really a big gap there, which is I, I really, really like. Gives me a switch into a dark type to get my justified attack boost, and it's a race for death mon. I could definitely. <coughs> see myself, sorry, see myself running it um, more defensively than offensively, although you, you can definitely run it offensively. Let's get its own recovery and synthesis, I believe, which is pretty nice. I did think it got agility because Terrakion got agility, and I think Cobalion has agility as well, but he doesn't get agility for some reason. He only gets Swords Dance, so I was kind of bummed that, about that a little bit, but it's again, it's not the end of the world. I will be using this thing, like I said, most of the time for defensive purposes, um, but I could definitely run like a Swords Dance, or I believe it gets Calm Mind as well, said, so to catch my opponent off guard. And it's just a grass type I needed, of course, for the water and fairy. I'm sorry, water, fire, grass score. I only have my fire before this pick. So I picked my grass, and then you guys will see my water pick later in the draft. So that is why I picked uh, Verzion. Verzion was only 60 points as well. So again, it's not too bad of a price. It, lose, it leaves me with 200 points for my last three mons. So <coughs> basically, I was torn between two picks with this pick because I knew my last two picks what they were going to be and they weren't going to get taken and I could either pick a 100 tier mon or an 80 point tier mon and it was between Lycanroc Dusk or Fortress for 80 points Lycanroc was 100 points and I went with Fortress because I just I wanted the extra hazards and removal because again my only removal right now is that Skarmory with Defog so I figured I definitely need one or two more you know removers just to be safe so <clears throat> so I can't get hazard stack myself so I went with Fortress. I know it's doubling up on steals, but I pretty much have one of every single type except for Rock. I don't have a Rock type, and then I just have two steals. So I was gonna, I was gonna pretty much double up on a type regardless if I didn't grab a Rock type. So I went with Fortress. I really, really like Fortress because it has all sorts of hazards: Rock, Spikes, T Fox, and it can remove the hazards as well. Just like Skarmory, 140 base defense. So again, we have a lot of defensive steel types, which is good. I think steel types are meant to be defensive, not offense. I don't like offensive steel types because Steel resists a lot of typing, so <coughs> definitely better used if they are a defensive type of steel type. So, Sturdy is also a really good ability as well. You can't get one shot unless you're dealing with something with like Terravolt, like Kieran Black, that can ignore your ability. It's very, very slow, but that's okay because the main source of attacking for this guy is Jarrowball, which is obviously based off speed. And his attack is actually 90. It's not that, it's not that low. I, f I feel like a lot of people probably think his attack is like 50 or something, so I could definitely... Um, you know, run gyro ball with some maybe some attack investment to get some damage off. I don't know. 
it does have uh, a way to pivot out as well with the volt switch, which I really, really like. And then, like I said, it can just remove the hazards as well with the rapid spin. And it's also immune to like toxic spikes and stuff like that. So <clears throat> that's why I went with Fortress. Now I am still missing my water type. So I will go ahead and scoop up Blastoise. Like I said, it gives me another rapid spinner. So I, now I have two spinners and a defogger, which is really, really nice. I know rapid spin can be blocked by ghost types, but I still like the idea of running a rapid spin because I feel like a lot of teams actually don't even have ghost types. For, uh, first off, and then second off, I could easily predict them going into their ghost type if they have hazards up and I have a spinner out. They're probably going to go into their ghost type to block the spin, and I, I can just double on Crocodile, trap the ghost type, and then spin, you know, another turn. So I really, really like Blastoise. It's very defensive. The water type it doesn't get its own recovery, but this is my own. This is my Z status mon that I picked. You could pick one mon, like I said, that could be a Z status user, and this is Blastoise because of the obviously Z refresh. Uh, it pretty much it's like a full restore. It takes you back to full, cures any status. So if <coughs> my Blastoise is low, I could definitely uh, might, might run Z refresh on him. I don't know. Obviously, things like Z on Kirim is probably better most weeks, but I could definitely see myself running Z refresh one week or another. It's got decent speed for being a bulky water. Um, could definitely punch some holes in it. Uh, punch some holes in teams either too. It's like got like 83 attack and 85 special attack. But for the most part, I will be running this guy just like with Scald for <laughs> fishing for burns, rapid spin, and then maybe either Toxic or Ice Beam, something to hit, um, something to hit opposing mons that I need this guy for. And then last but not least, of course, you guys already know, I had to grab him. The Clops is back, baby. Dust Clops with Frisk and Pressure. Now, this does give me two EV Elite users, uh, Type Null and Dust Clops, whenever I'm bringing them. I'll just tell you guys right now for sure, I will be running EV Elite. So they're very, very bulky, but they, they're very, very weak to knock off, especially Dusclops because um, knock off is super effective against Dusclops. So you guys can see I have the ability to run this guy either defensive or speed F because he's got 130 and then EVLA boosts that all the way up to 195. <coughs> it's HP is lackluster, but Dusclops could definitely just be an annoyance, man. I really, really like Dusclops as a low tier mon. I think Type Null and Dusclops is 40 points. I think Dusclops is, is right for 40. I think Type Null should be to 60, but... Um, I could definitely like be annoying to my opponent posing teams posing posing teams uh, if they don't prepare for dust clops like as crazy as that sounds like yeah there's you could definitely shut up down with a certain move I don't want to say the move but a lot of teams just like look at dust clops and they're like oh okay he's probably not gonna bring it and if he does I could just you know kill it with something but no like you need to knock this thing off or you need to be set up or something or else this thing is not gonna get two shot and it could definitely be annoying with like pain split it could toxic you it could have rest. It's got two good abilities as well, Pressure and Frisk. I think Frisk is pretty much, it's one of the best abilities in a draft league because it just, again, tells you the item right away, which is could be definitely a big knowledge if you scout like a choice set. <coughs> so that is my team, guys. Uh, I could definitely talk about some pros and some cons. I think my last draft was, I think my last draft was better for sure. I, I think that's probably my, be my best draft, to be honest, um, like in any draft league. But I really, really like this team. Um... There's definitely some things that I'm missing, not going to lie, but I'm not going to say that because I don't want my opponents to take advantage of that. Um, but as far as uh, my expectations, like I said in the beginning of the video, I pretty much just want to make playoffs. And then, you know, if I can go further than the first round this time, that would be ideal. But if not, again, making playoffs is just good for me. So that is the team, guys. Uh, I think we're actually going to be battling. We might battle actually t tonight, believe it or not. Uh, I'm not sure. We can either battle tonight or maybe on the weekend. So that's the team, guys. Thank you guys a ton for watching, and I'll see you guys in the battle. Peace.